Okay, a school shrinks assembled as 50 pupils, 27 of them are girls. If 27 of them are girls, okay, how many? I went through? No, because I, I, I use this example as uh, to teach you what the things not to do, right? Okay, and I'm gonna, anyway, I'm going to show you. Okay, what percentage of the string assembled are girls? So you have 27, remember, over 50. Multiply by 100% equals to 54%. Presentation must definitely be very important here. Okay. Remember my percentage sign. Okay. These two are important things. Now, let's look at the uh, next question. Okay, the, the table shows the number of fiction and non-fiction books in a class library. Fiction and non-fiction. Right, fiction books, we know there's 13 and non-fiction, there is 16. What percentage of the books are fiction books? Okay, percentage, right, of them are fiction books. So we are actually looking at the fiction books over the total, am I wrong? Okay, because the total is the one whole, right? So how many books I have here is actually 13 plus 16. This will give me 29. Correct? This is the total number of books. Okay? And what percentage are fiction books? We know we have 13. And over the total. This is the fraction. But we need to convert it to a percentage. What must I do, Leroy? After getting 13 over 29, what should I do next? Times 100%. Okay, they, they say that this question, right? Give your answer correct to one decimal place. So definitely you need to use a calculator. Okay, definitely you need to use a calculator. It will not be a nice answer. Okay, so uh, Isabel, can you help me calculate? 13 over 29 times 100. Okay, you don't need to press the percentage symbol, okay? When you write 13 over 29 times 100, you don't need to put the percentage symbol. Because once you key in the percentage symbol, right? Okay, you will not get a uh, 44.8%. Okay, please, uh, uh, why don't you all you take out a calculator? Please, I need you to try this out. If you put 13 over 29 times 100 with this symbol percentage sign, you will get 0 0.448. Okay, so when you're keying to a calculator, right, please be careful. Okay, do not key in the way you have written it. Understand or not? So you will, the percentage sign, right? You will key in yourself. Understand? Okay? Can? Anyone do not understand what I mean? Uh, do you all physically press it? You really need to physically press it to understand why I say that when you use a calculator, you don't type in the percentage sign. Okay? You, you have a different calculator, you will still have to try out. Okay? Okay, so we'll leave it as 44.8% because you are supposed to round it off to one decimal place. 44.8%. Okay, so remember you need a bracket one decimal place okay yes uh colin chi uh i think it's not clear it's uh, actually a percentage sign okay anyone has any problem with this yes jack you don't use the wavy equal sign is it uh, it's actually un unnecessary. Yeah, unnecessary. You write like this is good enough. Okay? Because I bracket, I wrote, wrote one decimal place. Okay? Anyone has any problem? Ken? 
Let's look at the next question. Okay, question three. Mr. Po has nine pairs of sneakers. Okay, sneakers made out sixty percent of his footwear. Okay, that means you know that all his footwear is hundred percent, right? So that means all his shoes is hundred percent. Okay, then since the sneakers made up sixty percent of his footwear, we know that sixty percent. Okay, is actually nine. Correct. Now, I want to know how many pairs of footwear does he own, right? So first of all, we need to find what is one percent. To get one percent is actually nine divided by sixty. Yes or no? Yes. You can find 10%. If you are finding 10%, that means you are doing 9 divided by 6. Okay? Right? It's just like, why is it that we always try to find one unit first? Okay? We always try to find one unit first. Okay? If you want to convert it to a fraction, yes. But since we are doing it in percentage, I want to teach you in terms of percentage. Yes? Colin? I know what you mean. I want to see the breakdown in the steps. Uh, you can do 20% as well, but I want you all to have a very structured way of doing. That means every time we do a 1% first, it's like every time, let's say this is 60 units you er uh, equals to 9. 60 units equals to 9. The next step is very natural. We always find one unit first, right? Okay, I want you all to have a very standard structure way of doing. Don't, uh, one question, you put uh, 10 units equals something. The other one, you put 20 units equals something. Yeah, you have you find the 1% first. Okay, right. You need, need to be very structured in the way you do it. Okay. So, how you practice is how you perform during exam. You cannot, for one question, you, uh, you do this, or oh, I find 10% first. Second question, I find 20% first. Third question, I find 1%. Inconsistency, right, is the, is the breeding ground for carelessness. When you're very inconsistent in the way you solve a question, that's where carelessness creep in. But if you have a very standard way of solving, that's where you cut down on all your careless mistakes. Yes, Beyond. Okay, anyone has any questions? Okay, so the next step will of course be to find 100%. It will be 9 over 60 multiplied by 100. You cannot write 100% here because you're doing 100 times, right? Can you see? From here to here is actually 100 times. Right, so you cannot write 100% here. Do you understand or not? Okay? So whenever you want to write the percentage shine, it must make sense to you. Okay, just like when you write the dollar sign, it means that you are talking about money. Right, so every symbol has a meaning in mathematics. Like you press, write the degree. When you write a degree, definitely there's a, me there's a meaning because you are trying to tell the person this is an anger. Correct? So you cannot write it for no reason. Okay, so the next step would of course be to solve it. Okay, fraction, you can either reduce it, cancel, cancel, divide by 10 first. Then you get 3 and you get 5. Uh, sorry. Because I divide by 2, right? 6 divided by 2, I get 3. 10 divided by 2, I get 5, right? I can reduce it further. 1, 3. And I know that he has 15 footwear altogether. Makes sense, right? Your first, you, uh, but in this question, they never even put a calculator symbol. Right. 
Times four. How many pairs? The total number of footwear that he owe, not. Yeah, not other footwear other than sneakers, but they are asking him for the total, so we don't find forty percent. Hundred over one, okay, that's fine as well. But just yeah, if you, I'm fine with that as well. Okay, but uh, if you end up with a fifteen percent at the final answer, you know something is wrong, right? Correct, because you how many pairs of footwear does he uh, own? It's not what percentage of they didn't ask the question as what percentage, correct or wrong? So it must be a whole number. You don't write fifteen percent. So I have this uh fifteen. Now next question. Okay. A plate of chili crab at a seafood restaurant cost seventy two dollars and seventy six cents. Including seven percent GST. You know what is GST? Yeah. Goods and services tax. Uh. okay. It's like, uh, let's say you go to buy. Let's say you go and buy a pair of sports shoes. Okay, the price uh they are selling is hundred dollars. Okay, but on top of this hundred dollars, right? Usually in Singapore, we need to pay this. Not just in Singapore, other countries as well. Okay. Usually in, in Singapore, we need to pay this seven percent GST, which is the goods and services tax. Yeah, it's the to pay the this seven percent goes to the government. It doesn't go to the seller of the of the pair of shoes. Uh, no, it's not going to increase. It's going to increase uh, in uh, like two thousand uh, two o two one to two o two five. They are saying, okay, they're going to increase it to nine percent. Okay, but but I'm going to explain to you this concept of GST okay let's say if you buy an item that's worth hundred dollars okay so on top of paying the person hundred dollars right you need to pay the person seven percent extra that means this seven percent of hundred dollars that means it's seven dollars right but this seven dollars right that you pay the person extra right that means altogether you pay hundred and seven dollars the seven dollars goes to the government. The hundred dollars go to the seller. Understand? Of course, some some countries is more expensive. Some countries is like ten percent. Okay, right? Okay, different countries is different. Yeah, some countries is ten percent. Okay, I'm not sure. Uh, any one of you is not a Singaporean. Uh, which country are you from? Sorry. UK, what's the GST there? You don't know? Emma? P? You're from where? Korea? Poland. Poland. You know what's the GST? I'm, I'm quite sure UK is, uh, United Kingdom is more, as a higher percentage. You can go home and ask your mum or dad. Yeah. Okay. In fact, uh, most, most developed countries have uh, this GST. Okay, goods and services tax. Is it because the government wants money? Uh, it's because uh, there's a lot of things to pay for, okay? Like uh, for your education, a large part of your education, like right, right now, right? You're paying a very little amount for your education, okay? You're paying may maybe like a few dollars every month for your education, which you know that definitely that few dollars is not even enough to pay for the electricity, okay, of the school, right? Then where does the rest of the money come from? The rest of the money come from the government. Okay, the government. And how does the government get all this money? It's from working adults like me or your parents. Okay, whatever income we earn, we, put a, uh, we pay a certain percentage to the government. It's known as income tax. Or when you go outside and buy things, there's this percentage which goes to the government. Okay, that's how, how the government can have money to build schools, to maybe repair the roads, okay? So they actually get it from Texas. Sorry? Yeah, some of the money goes to help the elderly as well, uh, to, uh, to help the less fortunate in the society. Uh, usually they just deduct from uh, my bank account. Yeah. Every month, they, don't, they only inform me once a year. I'm gonna deduct 
how many thousand from you? Okay, you're gonna pay by installment. Okay. Yeah. Yes. All Singaporeans. Uh, no. As long as you go outside to buy things, you need to pay GST. Except uh, in the canteen, of course, you don't need to pay. But if you go to a popular bookshop, you are paying GST. Yeah. Uh, don't talk about carousel. Those is like deal. Uh. Uh, Daiso, you're also paying GST. Yeah, they are already included in the two dollars. Yeah, sometimes they already include in the price. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Sometimes it's like this. Okay. Sometimes, right? The the things that you buy, right? The the GST is already reflected there. Okay. Seven Eleven definitely have GST. Okay. Right, if you are talking about a normal fruit seller outside, they're selling uh, maybe one bunch of bananas for like three dollars. Of course, they don't pay GST. Only those uh, business, right? They are very big, NTUC fair price. You know the supermarket, Giant, uh, Kama SG. Of course, is is not is different. Yeah, so I'm talking about those big organization, uh, restaurants, all that. Even your McDonald's meal is inclusive of GST. Yeah, it's inclusive of GST, right? So, now, uh, please let me uh, finish this question and I'll let you go for recess. Okay, so this uh, chili crab, right? You can see it's a very weird amount they are charging. There's this dot seventy-six cents. Okay, because it includes the 7% GST. So, other than playing 100%, okay, the 100% is for the chili crab. You're paying this extra 7%. So all together, how many percent are you paying? Yes. Okay, so you know that 107% is actually your $72.76. So next step, I need to find my 1%, right? So I write 72 Points. I tr I think it's better we don't use the dollar sign, okay? Because it's going to be like confusing. So this will be over hundred and seven. Okay, I don't try to immediately use the calculator here because it will give me a very weird number already. I always do my. Uh, it may give me a it, other questions. It may give me a very weird number. So I just leave my one percent right as a fraction. It's also easier for you. Because you are do doing one last step of calculation, yes or no? You key in one last step into your calculator. Okay, so for that one percent, we are just writing as a fraction. Okay, or if you think that this is wrong, which is wrong actually, because you have decimal inside a fraction, you can just write is divide by one zero seven, because we cannot have a decimal inside a fraction. Am I right? Am I right? We can't have a decimal inside a fraction, so I express it this way. Yes, Clarence? Sorry, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Honestly, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. So, the next step would be to find 100%, right? Okay, I need to find 100%. So it's seventy-two point seven six divide by hundred and seven times hundred. Do I need to put uh, brackets anywhere? Do I need to put bracket anywhere? No need, right? Because order operation states that I'm moving from left to right, so there's no need because division and uh, multiplication. I'm just moving from left to right. So there's no need to put the brackets. Okay, so what's the answer? Yeah, so you got a very nice number, which is 68. So by the final step, please write $68. Uh.